Hey guys, Nick here. Just doing a review today over the JBL 400 IHD. This is a iPod dock, HD alarm, iPod dock, alarm clock, HD radio, standard radio, uh, computer speakers, really whatever you want these to be. This thing has a ton of different features it can offer. This thing does carry a $200 price tag and for that, I think it's well deserved. There are a lot of features on this if you use all the features. If you're looking for just simply an iPod dock, you have an alarm clock, you have an HD radio, and you're not looking to replace them, I probably won't be able to recommend this just for the fact that $200 for an iPod dock is extremely hefty. And for the sound that the iPod gives through this, I can't recommend it. That being said, let me start off by saying the sound this can produce is fantastic. The sound it produces through an iPod is not fantastic. The iPod just does not give it the clarity it needs to really, really be for that $200 price tag. But let's go ahead and just jump up to close up cam, show you some of the pictures. I have a ton of screenshots for this I'm going to throw in here, that way you can see everything. So let's go ahead and get this started and yeah, let's go. Okay, so here the, is the JBL up close. It's really nice. It looks kind of long. It's not as long as it appears. It's just because it's so thin that this thing looks really wide. It's about the width of an Xbox 360. So if you know what that is, it's a pretty good comparison. It's probably about a foot and uh, 12 inches in length. But overall, I've really liked using this. The only downside I found is there needs to be two settings. One for the listening, one for the alarm clock. I listen to music going to bed. The first night I listened to music, I turned it down pretty low because I fall asleep to soft music and my alarm clock was in soft. So that is definitely the biggest downfall of this device. I will say that right up front that they needed two separate settings. You can go with all the options they give you with the alarm clock. Let me get to, to it. They should have made it where you can have two separate settings. So just click alarm. You can see you can have up to five different alarms. Um, just click through it, it'll ask you for the time, ask you if it's once, every weekday, every, every weekend, every day, one day, click through that, and then FM, AM, iPod, Buzz, and that's it. There should have been some setting that let you set how loud it is, or if it gets progressively louder, or something. The fact that it just is the setting of the JBL, I don't like. It's a, everything on this is digital, they should have made it so you can't have two separate settings. The next thing that is pretty good, but it's not really the best, is the sound quality from an iPod or an iPhone. This might sound really weird, but the iPhone and the iPod does not do this system justice. If you plug this into a computer, have, and well, even when I plug this into my iMac, it still sounded kind of wimpy. Once I EQ'd, fine-tuned the iMac, this thing sounded phenomenal. It made my M audios. It gave them definitely a run for their money. So the sound on this is potentially really nice. For an iPod, if you don't want to EQ it, unfortunately you're not going to get the full quality of it. Really that goes with anything though. But that's pretty much it guys. HD radio sounds really good. Radio sounds okay. But just with the iPhone without actually EQing this thing, it just doesn't do it full potential. I spent probably the first two hours getting this really scratching my head going, why doesn't this sound good? Why doesn't it sound good? It's a $200 device. It should sound good out of the box. And I found it does sound good plugged into a computer, plugged into the HD radio. It's just for some reason the iPhone and the iPod just do not do these speakers justice. But let's go ahead and flip over to the back and look at the connections. I actually will just throw up a screenshot here because it's a little clearer. But on the left side, it's just DCN. The only issue I have with this is it can be, fall out really easily. There's no, it doesn't ever really get a good connection. The auxiliary in, it's what it is. It's an aux in. The FM antenna and then the AM antenna. Not much to see on the back. With the bottom, all you have is the backup batteries if the power ever goes out. It's just three AAAs. Not, nothing too big there. And the last thing to notice on the bottom is it does have these feet so it's not just the plastic on really whatever surface you're sitting it on. So that's really nice that it has that little cushion there. So overall guys, I really do like this. The HD radio, I like the fact that, well, I like the fact that it has it. This is the first HD radio I've ever had, ever played with. So the fact that it was sitting there showing me songs, titles, all of that, it was really nice. Because 
I'll be honest, I thought for HD radio, you had to pay for it. I thought it was kind of like the serious where if you don't pay, you don't get it. So being able to use this for just one nominal fee was really nice. The sound quality for it was really nice. The fact that I have to have antennas running everywhere for it wasn't so nice because that means if I ever want to rearrange the room, I've got to worry about put it, putting the antennas back up. Now, yes, it is just taping it to the wall, but it's just not all in one package. There's no built-in antennas. You do have to run antennas, tape it to the wall, tape it to a desk. Now, if you put it next to a computer monitor, you are going to have some issues, at least I did, where the reception was nowhere near as good next to a computer monitor. My guess is just because the electronics factor or magnetism, whatever it might be, but it just wasn't that good. Uh, when I, whenever I just taped it up a wall, it was phenomenal. Now, I don't have that many HD, HD stations around me, but even then, the ones I picked up were really nice. So if you're thinking about getting HD radio, definitely make sure the stations are there. I live out in the Midwest. We're definitely not the most up on technology, so it wasn't that beneficial for me. So I probably, it probably wouldn't be worth 200 for me just for the fact that I get about two to three stations. But overall, guys, let's just look at the top here. The nicest thing I liked about HD radio was the fact that I could just hit the tag button. It tagged the, th tagged the item, put it on the iPod. Whenever I put the iPod in, iTunes asked, hey, would you like to download this? That was really nice. I found a few new artists I like from that, and it worked really well. Uh, left to right, though, let's just go over it. I'll actually do a screenshot on this as well, just because this is a little difficult to see. But from left to right, it goes tag, HD, power, uh, music, PS, which I can't even remember what it is at the moment. Oh, preset. It's for, it's for the radio stations. Uh, then just volume up, volume down, snooze. Then home. Home is actually the back button for all intents and purposes. It goes to settings, but for all intents and purposes, it is the back button. Then just up and down to go through the menus. The button on the right to the up and down is pretty much the enter key. It also will pull up the settings as well. Then next to that you just have alarm clock, and next to that you have your sleep timer. So listen to music going to sleep like I do. You set it 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. Now that actually reminded me of the only other pitfall I have about this. This might sound nitpicky, it might, but for the snooze it's 5, ten, it's five minute increments all the, way up to ha all the way up to 60 minutes. For whatever reason, I've always had 7 minutes for my sleep timer. Don't know why my alarm clocks always have. That's what I'm used to. When I'm when it's that early in the morning, I hit the alarm clock. I know I can hit three times, and 21 minutes go by. So the fact that this one, it, I think between five and ten, it should go in one minute increments so of five, six, seven, yada yada yada, and then from ten up, start jumping by five minutes. I just think there needs to be a little bit more fine tuning on the important area, and when it gets up to 60 minutes, yeah, go 50 minutes, 60 minutes, because. Five minutes when that length of time isn't that important. But overall, guys, I've kind of ranted on about this for long enough. This is a really nice device. The only downfalls of it is it does need two levels for alarm clock and listening. And it does need, the, well, it needs better iPod. Whether they build, build in an EQ specifically for the iPod setting or something, it just doesn't do iPods justice. Or iPods don't do it justice either way iPods in this sound quality they just don't me do that well so something needed to be fixed with that but overall it has good bass it has good mids it has good highs the sound package is there it's just not there with the iPhone yet so for two hundred dollars you get a lot of stuff if you're looking for it mainly for an iPod dock though I personally would have to pass on this but guys this is the JBL 400 IHD it's the JBL on time, and I'll catch you guys later.